Hello and welcome to the Waseda University School of Social Sciences Taishi Orientation Program. Due to various circumstances, this orientation is being conducted by video. It will provide important information about your student life and study at Waseda University. So please listen carefully. Now, the contents of this video can be divided into two sections. The first will be resources at Waseda and guidelines and rules on and off campus. Now, let us begin with the resources available to you at the university. The first resource we would like all of our new students to carry with them is the Waseda spirit. This famous statue on Waseda campus is of our founder, Okuma Shigenobu. He was one of the founding fathers of modern Japan. In 1882, more than 130 years ago, he established Waseda University with the goal of providing independence of learning in education. The Waseda spirit originates from our founder Okuma. As you can see in the statue, he has no right leg and can only stand with the help of the cane in his right hand. This is because he lost his right leg in an assassination attempt led by extreme nationalists in 1889. At the time, Okuma was for foreign minister of Japan and he played an important role in Japan's modernization process by building bridges between Japan and the West. However, conservative elements in Japanese society were unhappy with politicians making compromises to the Western powers. This was the motivation for extremists to make an attempt on Okuma's life, which resulted in him losing his leg in a bomb attack. Despite the loss of his right leg, Okuma continued to be active in politics and became Prime Minister of Japan on two different occasions. He became known as a leader with great resolve and unyielding spirit, a person who was committed to innovation, independence of learning and the bridging of cultures and civilizations. These values and ideals form the key foundations of our university's spirit and identity, which has been passed down from our alumni throughout the years and remains alive in the students of Waseda University today. This brings us to the second resource, Student Life and the Student Community of Waseda University. Waseda students organize many students' clubs, which are commonly known as circles. For many students, circles are the heart of their university experience, and they bring color to their university life. Some circles are even famous and known throughout the country, such as the Debate Society and the Waseda Orchestra. The students are also responsible for organizing the annual school festival, which is called Waseda Sai. This is held in November, and most of the events are organized and managed by student circles alone. The festival may be a good opportunity for new students like yourselves to discover new interests and meet new people through circle activities. In addition to this, the Waseda spirit is on full display in the Waseda KO matches, known to most as Sokeisen. This refers to sports matches that Waseda has against KU University, which has been Waseda's traditional rival and competitor for many years. The Waseda KO baseball matchup is the biggest matchup in Japanese collegiate sport, much like the American football game between Harvard and Yale, and therefore is a major highlight of every season. The next resource that I would like to talk about are the facilities that are available to you at the university. Here is a list of major school facilities that you will often use. I will briefly explain each facility and their various functions. The first facility is the Central Library. The Central Library is located on Waseda Campus Building 18. The library collection is quite extensive and comprehensive, so please do take the opportunity to make use of the information available to you. Apart from the Central Library, we also have student reading rooms for students to use on the 4th and 7th floor in Building 14. The reading room on the 7th floor also functions as a library, and students can borrow books as well as study there. The reading room on the 4th floor is just a studying space. Next, we will talk about the Writing Centre. The Writing Centre is located on the 2nd floor of Building 3 in Waseda Campus. 
Learning how to write an academic paper is an, a very important skill to learn, and the Writing Center is there to help students learn and develop their English writing skills. If you have any doubts or questions about your writing, please make sure to make an appointment with them. They are able to provide guidance in English, Chinese and Japanese on writing English papers. In addition to the Writing Center, the School of Social Sciences also provides its own language support services. You can consult teaching assistants from the School of Social Sciences about academic writing, speaking and listening. More details are available on the School of Social Sciences website. Next, the swimming pool and the training centre. These pictures show the swimming pool and training centre and they are on Toyama campus, about 15 minutes walk from building 14 on the main campus. Wasa University also offers some exercise lessons, such as yoga. However, there are some rules and regulations you need to follow when using these facilities. To use the swimming pool, for example, you must pass a physical checkup test. Please be aware of all the rules and regulations before you use the facilities. Next is the ICC, the Intercultural Communication Centre. The ICC is located on the first floor of Building 3. It provides language tables, cultural events and other opportunities for all students. It is commonly used as the meeting place for both local and international students. Finally, the university also provides health and medical services. Regarding student insurance, you will all need insurance and most of you will apply for the National Health Insurance Program. The Centre for International Education will provide more information about this application process, so please do not miss it. Generally speaking, if you catch a cold, see a doctor and prescribed medicine and are not insured, you will have to pay a lot of money. However, if you are covered by the National Health Insurance Program, 70% of the medical bill will be paid for by the Japanese government. Wasada can also help you more in medical situations with our Student Health Promotion and Mutual Aid Association Insurance. You will receive a guidebook on the Wasada University Student Health Promotion and Mutual Aid Association. You, should already, you will already will be in, enrolled in this insurance plan by default. With this insurance plan, when you are visiting the doctor, all you have to do is fill out a reimbursement form, attach the receipt, and take it to the association's office on Toyama campus. Wasa University will refund the medical expenses for your consultation and another 500 yen for the pharmacy. Please read the guidelines carefully and take advantage of our medical services. In addition to this, the most accessible clinic is probably the health support centre on campus. It is located behind Okuma Auditorium, uh, is numbered as Building 25. In the same building, the university offers counselling for students. So, if you are feeling down or would like to talk about your problems to, some, uh, to somebody, you can make an appointment to see the counsellor. Counselling is available in both English and Japanese. Alternatively, you are also welcome to talk about your problems to the School of Social Sciences staff. Next, I will talk about the guidelines and rules that you should follow both on and off, on campus and off campus. Rule number one, absolutely no plagiarism. In the university, the most fundamental rule and the highest value is academic honesty. For example, if you are required to write a book review in a course, you are not allowed to copy sentences from book reviews on, for example, sites like Amazon. Even if there are only a few lines, that is totally unacceptable. Professors can use uh, cheating detection software which is provided by a university. So, never steal ideas and sentences from other people. We, as academics, have to pay respect to others' ideas and creations. The second academic rule pertains to attendance and credits. 
Here are some very important things to keep in mind as a Waseda student. Your first priority is to attend your classes. The specific rules on attendance depends on each, prof each professor, so be sure to check each professor's syllabus and course description carefully. As a general rule, most professors require students to attend at least two-thirds of the total classes. Each Waseda course usually consists of 15 classes, and so this means you can miss up to five classes. However, some professors may think that missing five classes is too much, and therefore this will affect your grades. So keep in mind that attendance is very important. Next is about harassment, basically about respect. Have you heard of words such as sexual harassment, power harassment, alcohol harassment, or even academic harassment? All of these dif different types of harassment betray a, res a lack of respect for others. This can happen in many ways. Please respect the rights, ideas, and opinions of others, and try to understand the differences between everyone. Now, to talk a bit about off-campus activities and avoiding trouble. This is a picture of Taka Takadano Baba Station at night. Many drunk students crowd around the station because there are a lot of bars and izakaya around Takadano Baba. Once you hit the streets at night, group psychology may take over and students often tend to lose control. Be careful not to get caught up in illegal activities. Particularly with regards to alcohol, when students get in trouble, alcohol is often the source. The legal drinking and smoking age in Japan is 20 years of age. If you are still 18 or 19, as some of you may be when you enter the university, please do not drink. This is, this, it is very important that you obey this law. We are aware that quite soon, most of you will turn 20 if you have not already done so. So this may be the last time for us to warn you about the dangers of underage drinking. If you are asked to have beer or wine at a party, and if you are underage, please refuse the request. In addition, ikkinomi is a stupid practice where people cheer, sing and clap hands to force you to dr finish a drink in one go. Some students die every year from alcohol poisoning nationwide. Please practice good sense by avoiding excessive consumption of alcohol. The next rule is about drugs and substance abuse. This should be obvious, but there should be absolutely no drugs. Some illegal drugs are well known, such as marijuana and LSDs. Today, especially amongst young people, there are so-called casual drugs, such as happy pills and magic mushrooms. These are also illegal. Also illegal are, or quasi-illegal, are drugs known as kicken herbs. These drugs have been in fashion recently and are sold in herb stores when packed in small colorful bags. When taken individually, the herb may not be harmful or, or illegal, but it will be harmful when it is mixed. There have been a series of fatal car accidents that have been caused by drivers that have gotten high on these herbs. All of these her herbs, drugs, are all illegal, so just say no to them when you are asked. These drugs will hurt others and also destroy your life. Please, remember, please bear in mind that doing drugs will cause you to lose everything. Next, unwanted solicitations. Wasda University is a large university. And unfortunately, some student clubs are reportedly run by outside, uh, outside organizations such as religious cults and radical groups. For example, some people may approach you as the student government of the school's social sci uh, sciences, known as Jichikai. But this association does not exist. During the 1960s, student governments came under total control of radical students, but most of them have been abolished. So, don't give away your personal information so easily. If you are joining a student club, it may be a good idea to firstly check their activities, ask senior students 
friends or people at the school office about this particular club. If you feel that something wrong is going on, or if you have been trapped and forced to pay an unreasonable amount of, mon amount of money, or to sign a contract, please let us know. Lastly, I would like to talk about some information about the School of Social Sciences Office. The School of Social Sciences Office is open from Monday to Saturday from 9am to 5pm. For information on student affairs, such as scholarships, you can find information on the bulletin board outside the office, on our website, or on my Waseda. Also, please remember that all important notices will be sent to you by email. So please make sure to check your Waseda email and carefully read emails from taishi at list.waseda.jp. Lastly, I would like to talk about elevator use. The elevator in the School of Social Sciences building is primarily for faculty, staff and handicapped persons. So wherever possible, please use the stairs or the escalator when getting to your classes. We appreciate your understanding. Next, I would like to introduce some information that comes directly from the school office. The Office of the Faculty of Social Sciences is located on the third floor of Building 14. If you have any questions or need consultation on student or academic life, please come and see us from Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. However, students are advised to undertake administrative procedures during the weekdays. On Saturdays, clerical work is restricted to a minimum. You are always welcome to our office at any time. We are happy to provide support for anything you need. But please keep in mind that not every person in the office is an English speaker. Most of us can speak English. However, there will be times when none of us will be in the office because of meetings and other assignments. If this happens, Please come again later, or, ple or please leave a message and we, will live, and we will come back to you. If you need consultation on something rather serious, we suggest that you send us an email and make an appointment in advance. Next, about student ID cards. You will officially become a student of Waseda University on the 1st of April. You can pick up your student ID card from the office on this date. Please make sure to bring your photo ID as you will need it to exchange for your student card. Your student ID card will be necessary for opening a bank account and for getting your train passes. Always bring your ID with you when you come to school since instructors or staff may ask you to show your ID. Please register your address on the change of address form through my Waseda. The information will be turned into a sticker which we will stick to the back of your student ID card. After you receive your ID card, please check the name written on your ID and if you want to make any changes, please notify the office. For students with Chinese names, please realize that the reading of Chinese characters may be different from what you are used to. If, for some reason, you are to lose your ID card, please let us know immediately so that your previous ID card can be deactivated in order to prevent misuse. Before applying for a replacement, Please look for it carefully. In the event that you cannot find your lost ID card, you will be re reissued a new ID card and charged 2,000 yen for its replacement. So, please take care of your ID card. Also, make sure to keep the card in a safe place, otherwise, the magnetic strike may become damaged. If for whatever reasons, the card does not work properly, we will replace it for you free of charge. With regards to your resident card, residence card, the residence card is effectively your visa and proof that you are in this country legally. Please always have it on your person. In Japan, police officers have the right to ask to see it at any time, so make sure you have it with you whenever you go out. Students who have a residence card, please find and make a note of the expiration date. Most of your cards should be valid for less than three years. This means that you will have to renew the card at least once before you graduate from our program. 
it is your responsibility to apply for this extension. You should apply for a visa extension at least one month before the expiration date. You will need to fill out and gather the necessary forms from the Centre of International Education and go to the Immigration Bureau and submit the documents yourself. The Centre for International Education is located on the fourth floor of Building 22. As is the case in most countries, Japan takes its immigration laws very seriously. So if you have any problems or questions about this process, please contact, as, uh, please contact us as soon as possible. Finally, please note that your academic performance will have an effect on your visa application. So please make sure to maintain a good academic record. Now, for more information on how to apply for a visa extension, the first step is to check your residence card. Please make sure to keep track of the expiration date of your, res your residence card. You should start applying for a new one at least one month before the expiration, but also a, max a maximum of three months before. The next step is to prepare all of the necessary documents. You can find all of the necessary forms either on the CIE website or on the Immigration Bureau website. The third step is to go to the CIE office. Please make sure to have your documents checked by a staff member at the CIE office and have the office issue the application form for extension of period of stay. The fourth step would be to go to the immigration office with the documents. The f uh, at the fifth step, a new residence card will be issued to you. Once you have received a postcard from the Immigration Bureau notifying that your card is ready, please visit the Immigration Office to collect it. A revenue stamp of 4,000 yen will also be necessary for the renewal process. Finally, please submit a copy of the new residence card to your undergraduate or graduate school office within 14 days after you have received it. Please remember to copy both sides and paste them on the designated form. If you are taking a leave of absence or studying abroad, please consult with us so that you can take the necessary procedures and not have any problems. After extending your visa, there are also certain procedures that you have to follow. This is the form that you have to submit to us after the re your visa has been renewed. As mentioned, Please make sure to submit it to us within 14 days after you have received your new residence card. In the event that you fail to extend your visa and fail to comply with Japanese immigration laws, there will be serious consequences. These include imprisonment, fines, deportation, and a ban from entering the country for at least one year. In the latter case, you may be forced to withdraw from the university. We have had a case in the past where a student overstayed her visa for three months. As a result, the Tokyo Immigration Bureau ruled that she had to leave the country and banned her from entering the country for one year. As a result, she had to withdraw from our program. Please note that this is a ruling by the government, therefore the university was unable to help. And in similar cases, the university will not be able to help you once such a decision has been made by the government. So please remember to follow and respect the laws set by the country. Now, on to holidays and class cancellations. Like other countries, Japan has national holidays, and the university also has, certain, has, des has also designated certain days as holidays. However, in order to ensure that we meet the stipulated number of classes per semester, Classes will be held on some national holidays. Please remember that in the spring semester, regular classes will be held on the following national holiday, April 29th, which is a Wednesday. For more details, please refer to course registration, the course registration booklet 2020. When it comes to class cancellations, there are mainly two kinds. The first type is a cancellation due to the instructor's personal, personal circumstances. If this happens, you will be notified in advance, and a supplementary class will be scheduled. If an instructor gets sick and cannot give a lecture, we will notify you as soon as possible. 
please keep in mind that there will be times when notification may be extremely short notice. We ask for your understanding on these matters. The second type of cancellation is cancellation due to reasons beyond our control. For example, transportation strikes or bad weather. This type of cancellation would typically affect all classes being held at the university. Depending on where you live, the strike may not affect you, but please follow the instructions the, uh, provided by the university on this matter. You can find more details about this in the study guide. Next, administrative procedures. We use and manage your personal information according to the data you have entered in your university entrance application. For administrative purposes, this, info this information is very important. So if there are any changes, please fill out a form and submit it to the office immediately. You should report any changes to your guarantor or school fees payers' personal information, bank account, information or method of payment to the office. Any changes to your address and phone number can be done online via MyWasida. If you are sick or will be absent from school for a long period of time due to family reasons, generally at least a period of two months, please talk to us at the school office beforehand. We will listen to your case and give you guidance on the matter. If necessary, you can request a leave of absence, which is formal permission to be absent for a long period of time. If you cannot attend classes temporarily due to sickness, a family matter, bad weather or other reasons, there is a system through which you can ask the instructor and the school office for permission. However, it will be up to the instructor to decide how to treat that absence. Finally, about scholarships. Please note that each scholarship requires a separate application. From March to May, September and October, many scholarships begin looking for applicants. You can find the information on scholarships on the School of Social Sciences bulletin board on the third floor. Please keep in mind that in your application, you need to give true and complete information. If you make a false statement, you will be disqualified from applying from this scholarship.